Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English A10 for technical and vocational schools. It is Unit 6, Lesson 5, Passive Voice with Models. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 3 Students Book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. Now, let's jump to lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use passive voice with models in writing sentences. So, let me ask you the question, what is the passive voice with models? Okay, let me explain that with a sentence. She gap to clean her room. Now, I would like to use the passive voice with models in this sentence. It goes like this. She should be told, should be told to clean her room. All right, let's jump to another example. The book for doing exercises. I would like to use the passive voice with models. I say the book must be used for doing exercises. Okay, let's check a third example. The doctors by all people. I would like to use the passive voice with models. The doctors should be appreciated by all people. All right. So, the passive voice like should be told, must be used, should be appreciated, is used when we do not want to focus on the agent. The agent, for example, all people, okay, of the action. And these are the actions being told or being used or being appreciated okay all right so what is the passive voice i'm going to explain it a bit more the passive voice is used when we do not want to focus on the agent of the action i will pull up the timeline okay where the present is in the middle the past and the future okay so the passive voice Okay, um, it's used when we do not want to focus on the agent. And as I said, the agent, for example, me, you, the people. All right? And the actions like study, do, and go. So, it is the passive voice where you can say from the present, which happens uh, as facts and truths all over the time. So, it goes way to the past and way to the future as schedules and habits. All right, let's uh, talk about models. So what are the models we could use? We could use should, can, may, will, ought to, be supposed to, have to, had better, must. Passive voice with models. I'm going to start with affirmative, that means positive sentences. This is how you build them. Okay, you start with the subject, then a model, then verb to be, then main verb, then complement, which means the completion of the sentence. Okay, and the agent should be an optional thing. Okay, subject, for example, I. Do you remember all the pronouns? He, she, it, you, as singular, you, as plural we and they so we have eight subject pronouns the models so i say i am supposed to as you saw before am was be be supposed to but be changes as the subject pronoun changes with i i say am with he she it i say is with you you we they we say are all right, another, uh, another model, he can. So I say, I can, he can, she can. She will, or she may. Again, will and may are models. You can apply them to all the subject pronouns. It should, you ought to. You can say, I ought to, they ought to. You must. You, uh, we have to. With have, you can say, I have to. You, you, we, they have to. 
but he, she, it, you have to say, he has to, she has to, it has to. They had better. So these are the models. Now I'm going to introduce verb to be. As you see, verb to be after, after models, it is infinitive bear. It means without two, okay? And the infinitive uh, of be is be. So I say, he can be, it should be. Main verb will be in the past participle, looked, okay? And then complement of that, looked after as a phrasal verb. You see that looked has an ed because it is a regular verb, okay? And it is in a form of, as I said, past participle. And then you add the agent. As you see, the agent is optional. Let me read it with the agent. I am supposed to be looked after by a nurse. Or, you must be looked after by a nurse. If I remove the agent, but I leave the full stop there, I can say, she will be looked after. Perfectly fine sentence. Or, you ought to be looked after, full stop. All right. Now let's have a quick task. Fill in the gaps in the following, and you have a mark of three. Number one, they gap to stay at home, full stop. Your task is to use had better as a model plus the action, the verb, advice. You have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is, they had better be advised. I use the model plus the infinitive of be, okay, which is be, and then the past participle of advice. All right, if you're correct, give yourself a mark. Two, the reports gap on time, full stop. You have to use ought to as a model, submit as a verb. You have five seconds. Now let's check the answer. The answer is ought to be submitted. Ought to be submitted. Ought to as a model, be says still, and then submitted, past participle. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Three, the shop gap at the moment, full stop. You have to use must as a model, close as a verb, five seconds. Now let's check the answer. The answer is must be closed, must be closed. All right, now check yourself and uh, uh, mark yourself out of three and let's carry on. Passive voice with models. Now this time we're building negative sentences. We build the negative sentence starting with the subject plus a model plus the neg negative word. And then verb to be and then main verb plus complement plus an optional agent. So the subject, uh, subjects again, do you remember them? The, they start with I, then he, she, it, you, you, we, they. Very good. And then the models plus the negative word. Let's check. You say, am not supposed to. I am not supposed to. I am not supposed to. Okay? The negative word changes according to the model. He cannot. And you see can and not are one single word. She will not or may not. Will not or may not. It should not. You ought not to. You ought not to. You ought not to. You must not. We don't or do not have to. You see, it changes according to the model. They had better not. 
They have better not. They have better not. Now, I introduce verb to be, which is be, does not change. And then the same example, looked, after, and then by a nurse. As, I as you can remember, by a nurse, the agent is optional. It could be removed. All right. So these are the abbreviations, contractions of the same sentences as before. I am not, you cannot abbreviate these two words, but ca cannot can be can't, will not can be won't, may not can be mayn't, should not shouldn't, ought not to oughtn't, must not mustn't, um, don't have to, well it just says d don't, they had better not, they'd better not. So had can be contracted with they. All right, let's have a quick task. Fill in the gaps in the following, and you have a mark of three. Number one, you, gap, a permit, full stop. You have to use be supposed to, give, but this time as a negative sentence. Have five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is, you aren't supposed to be given a permit. Aren't supposed to be given a permit. You see, aren't is contracted. Are and not. All right, if you're correct, give yourself a mark. Number two, a fruit gap, if it's unripe, full stop. You have to use the model should plus pick with a negative sentence. Let's check the answer. The answer is, shouldn't be picked. A fruit shouldn't be, shouldn't be picked if it's unripe. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Third one, children under 10 gap to the party. You have to use model, must, with invite in a negative sentence. Five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. Mustn't be invited. Children and return mustn't be invited to the party. Correct yourself out of three and let's carry on. All right, now let's build the passive voice with models interrogative, which means building questions. How to build questions? Well, you start with the model, an auxiliary. Then the subject, verb to be, main verb, complement, and then the agent, which, uh, which is optional. Okay, so these are the subjects as, as you remember them, and this is how you start. You start using the auxiliaries or the models. So, am I, can he, will she, or may she, should it, ought you, must you, do we, had they, and then I complete the models after the subjects. So I say, am I supposed to, can he, will he, will she, should it, ought you to, must you, do we have to, then had they better. You see? In building the questions, I had to separate the models like this. And then I introduce verb to be, which stays the same. And then the example, the main verb, looked after, and then the agent. But this time with a question mark. Okay, so the questions are like this. Am I supposed to be looked after by a nurse? Okay, or should it be looked after by a nurse? Or do we have to be looked after by a nurse? And as you know, nurse, or the agent, is optional. Let's have a quick task. Fill in the gaps in the following. And you have a mark of six. Number one. You have a gap about the precautions. You have to use a model plus subject and the verb tell. You have five seconds.
All right, let's check the answer. The answer is, do we have to be told? Do we have to be told? With have to, you have to start with do as an auxiliary. All right, give yourself a mark and let's go to number two. Gap of glass instead of plastic, question mark. In building this question, you need to use ought to, it, and make. You have five seconds. Okay, now let's check the answer. The answer is, ought it to be made, ought it to be made of glass instead of plastic. All right, give yourself a mark and let's do number three. Gap today, question mark. You have to use will, the tickets and sell. Five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is, will all the tickets, okay, will the tickets or all the tickets be sold today? Be sold today. Now mark yourself uh, of six, that means two marks for each, and let's carry on. All right, passive voice with models, short answers, okay? Short positive answers. Uh, the positive word, uh, as we know it, is yes. So you say yes, plus a comma, plus the pronoun, and then the auxiliaries, okay? The auxiliaries, that are the models. You say, yes, I, yes, I am supposed to be, okay? For I say am, for we say yes, uh, we are supposed to be, or it, yes, it is supposed to be. For can, yes, he can be. Yes, she will be, or yes, she may be. Yes, it should be. Yes, you ought to be. Yes, you must be. Yes, we do. Yes, they had better be. All right. So let's jump to the short negative answers. The negative word we start with is no. You say no plus the comma. Do not forget the comma. And then the pronouns. And then the same as before. Okay. Say no, I am not supposed to be. No, he can cannot be. No, she will not be or may not be. No, it should not be. No, you ought not to be. No, you must not be. No, we do not. No, they had better not be. Okay, and plus we have contractions for them. For the first one, you do not abbreviate these two, but with cannot you say can't, with will not you say won't, and mayn't, should not, shouldn't, oughtn't, oughtn't to or mustn't, or don't. All right, form in, the pa form in the past participle. I believe it is very important for you to understand that form in the past participle is essential in building the passive voice. So, we have two types. The first type is regular verbs. The rule is simple. You add ed to the verb, like the examples. You say play, you add ed. It comes in the past participle, played, visit, visited, call, called. Now this is easy, but we have an irregular, the irregular uh, verbs, okay? The rule, there is no rule. Every verb is special. For example, be becomes been, it changes. Break becomes broken, it changes. Fall, falling, bring, brought. Cost stays the same, cost. So there is a list you have to remember. All right, form in the past participle. Now, if you open a dictionary if, or if you go online, you will find the table similar to this. W base form, present simple, past simple, past participle, and present participle. So let's have a quick example, do. So the base form of do is do. But in the present simple, you'll find do and does. Does for he, she, it. Past simple, did. Past participle is done. And the present participle is verb plus ing. Okay? 
Then, uh, second example, write. Write, writes, wrote, written, writing. Pay, pay, pays, paid, paid, paying. Now, we are going to focus on the past participle. You will have a list. You have to remember it to transform every single regular verb into a passive voice. All right, let's go, go over task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. A, transform the sentences to passive voice with models. And you have a mark of four. Number one, we can use projectors to give presentation. You say, projectors can be used to give presentations. All right? So, this is your task. Number two, at night, we should take photos with a flash. Three, someone has to tell her supervisor that she is taking a time off. Four, we will introduce the new software soon. Five, someone had better teach the staff how to use it. Now, transform these, just like I did, into passive voice. And you have three, second, uh, three minutes. Now let's go over the model answer. For a second example. At night, comma, photos should be taken with a flash. Three, her supervisor has to be told that she is taking a time off. Four, the new software will be introduced soon. Five, the staff had better be taught how to use it. Now mark yourself and let's carry on. Task number six. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, question, write four sentences 
with passive voice with models using the following. And you have a mark of eight. Number one, positive sentences. My mom ought to drive 